As you probably know by now, my name's Guy Kesteven. I've been testing mountain bikes and mountain bike kit professionally for over 27 years. So why am I standing here with a pair of Doogie phones? Uh, well, basically, because the nice people at Doogie got in touch over them internets and wanted to send me a couple of sample, super rugged smartphones uh, for me to review on the channel. So, while I don't know anything about mobile phones, really, my daughter's significant other, Zach, does. So I'm going to open the boxes and then read from the notes that Zach gave me to uh, put these in context uh, in terms of uh, phones like the uh, Samsungs and the Land Rover Explore, super tough phones. And then I'll give them to my mates who are going to put them through their paces and see if they last. So this is an intro on these two phones, the V20S and the S41 Max. And then I'll come back after I've done the bits that I do, which is farming farming things out to get destroyed in the British mountain biking conditions. And we'll have a proper review at the end of it. Oh, and just as a note, uh, Doogie aren't paying me anything for this promo. They just sent me the phones and I've been rubbish at filming something about them and they kicked me up the arse. So here we go. Right, so we're going to start with the V20S, which is the more expensive phone. Look at that, nice Apple style boxy slide out. I haven't really done that the right way around, have I? And then we do the ASMR peel, don't we? And if you look at the little logo there, the tray has not only got room for a SIM card, it's also got room for a micro SD card. Uh, so presumably that means you can add more memory uh, to the phone if you want. But you've already got 256 gigabytes in here. So Zach has very helpfully uh, done me some notes, like I say, and he's compared it to the Samsung A35, uh, 256 gigabyte, and the Land Rover Explore. Now, the Land Rover Explore is super popular. I mean, Zach lives with my daughter in Aberystwyth, and he sees a bunch of farmers using the Land Rover Explore over there. Uh, there we go, nice red button. Look at that, red anodized. Mountain bikers are gonna love that, aren't they? So we're switching on. And he says that is a super tough phone. But I have to say, this looks, this is a proper bomb-proof unit. It's actually, see, no one thing I haven't got out, I haven't got out the scale, so. Let's just weigh it, if this is gonna work. Oh, there we go. English, right? yeah, oh, go on, let's do that. And it weighs in at 330 grams. So it is a relatively hefty phone and I'll put the dimensions up online, but oh, it's already, you know, that's quite nice. I quite like that. It's got a little, I mean, obviously once it's set up, uh, it's got a little time and uh, date stamp on the back there. Uh, you've got a bunch of different cameras on the back uh, and light and other gubbins on the back. And you've also got a little, flip out stand there so you can hold it up like that but anyway going back to that comparison uh pretty much i mean on the land rover this knocks it out of the park with the spec all the way through so uh, it's just a case of whether it's tougher as well uh but the pricing's good on it too and then going to the samsung now again this it's a very very close match uh, They've both got 256 gigabytes, uh, but this uh, Doogie has a higher battery life. Uh, the A35 has 4,900 4, milliamps. Uh, this Doogie has 6,000 milliamp hours. Uh, the main camera, like I say, both 50 megapixels. Uh, the Doogie has a slightly smaller screen, it's, but it's 0.17 inches. But the screen on this has a higher resolution, which is going to come in really, really handy. Uh, when you're doing your uh, mapping or anything like that. And it has more memory as well. So this, uh, the A35 is eight gigabytes your standard, whereas this is a 32 gigabyte phone. So that's, that's a 20 plus 12 in it. And it's got five, fast IPDDR4 by memory. However, the parts in that A35 phone are a little bit faster in terms of processor speed. So that's gonna be a faster reacting phone if you're using it for gaming and stuff like that. 
uh, this uh, doogie is 5G compatible and in price. Uh, if you go on their website, it's 300 quid off at the moment. I think it's one of those things where they kind of put a super high RRP, but the actual price you'll pay for it is a lot lower. So listed price is 335 at the moment. They do loads of offers if you sign up on the site. They even have a Timu style sort of gift spinner. And that compares to 389 for the Samsung A35. So basically 55 quid cheaper for this doogie phone but with that extra rugged casing and protection built in all round. Now, moving on to the S41 Max. I kind of got confused when I got these phones in because I thought the Max would be the uh, the bigger phone. Uh, but there you go, shows how much I know about phones. So this is a uh, smaller phone, what does she weigh? So 265 grams, uh, a lot smaller in this. So here you can see, uh, slightly small in size, but it's not as deep either. Again, you've got three cameras on the back. You've got this super rugged built-in case. Uh, they're both USB-C charging in behind uh, what feels like a very, very secure uh, plug on the bottom there. And Zach has given me notes comparing this to the uh, Samsung A15 and the Land Rover Explore. Again, it just completely knocks the uh, Land Rover Explore out of the park in terms of uh, tech specs. So it's just a case of, uh, you know, whether it lasts as well as that super rugged phone. Uh, Zach said he's had farmers come into, he works for EE at the moment now, Barrest with, and he said he's had farmers come in having done all sorts of unspeakable phones to their the unspeakable things to their Land Rover phones and they're still working fine. So I'm going to give these phones to Amy and Andy who are notoriously heavy on equipment, certainly Amy, and uh, see how they hold up. But, you know, again, this knocks it out of the park in terms of tech specs uh, compared to the Land Rover. And against the A15, you're getting a better uh, battery life. Uh, a15 is two days whereas this claimed to be two to three days and the storage is double on this phone so 128 gigabyte on the a15 but 256 gigabytes on this uh, s41 max however a15 has a bigger screen size and it also has a faster memory and a faster speed uh, the screen of the a4 s41 max is lower quality than the a15 as is the camera as well so you're really buying this for that durability and toughness and maybe that longer battery life if those claims hold up uh, as in terms of the overall uh, between the two phones zach kind of said if you just want a rugged phone that you can take with you mountain biking and just use as kind of your uh, basic beast phone and then have another smartphone that you use for daily stuff that's a bit smarter, you could actually get this phone and the A15 for the same price as you could get this bigger phone. And if you just want a knockabout phone for using on your bike, he'd probably go with the S41 Max. However, this uh, V20S obviously gives a lot higher performance uh, in terms of speed, camera, screen. So if you did want a super durable phone uh, and it was going to be your only phone as a daily driver as well as your daily getting dirty phone and you needed it in a heavy duty format, this is definitely well worth a look at. And that is what we are going to be doing next. So there you go. Probably the most awkward unboxing and intro I've ever done on camera. But Zach definitely knows his tech, so I'm really confident that what he's told me to tell you about these phones is absolutely bang on. Now we get to the interesting part, which is where I hand them off to the testing crew up here. They get a thorough beating in all sorts of uh, conditions that a mountain biking phone is going to see. And we'll report back later to see how they've coped and see how Amy and Andy have got on with these phones long term. So thanks very much to Doogie for sending in these two sample phones. Uh, massive thanks to my regular channel supporters as well. And thanks very much to my Patreon subscribers who pledge on a regular basis and they get early, extended and exclusive videos as a thank you. And they get them ad free as well. So that's the real bonus about signing up for a small amount every month to help support the channel. Uh, but click subscribe, uh, tick the notifications, uh, tell your mates about the channel and let me know 
whether you are more interested in seeing this kind of stuff. I do get a lot of emails from different companies, uh, you know, like headphones, uh, phones, uh, other bits of tech, which could po are kind of ancillary to mountain biking, but you know, they are part of a mountain biker's life, I guess. So if you are interested in me fumbling my way through more product introductions like this, I'll try and get better at it. Uh, if I do do more, let me know in the comments. But if you like, cares, just stick to things that are purely mechanical, then uh, I fully understand. But for now, I've been Guy Kesteven on Guy Cares TV talking about the Doogie V20S and S41 Max. Cheers.